What's happening Hot Wheelers? Joe Motor here with you. And you're looking at the M2 Auto Hauler 1958 Chevrolet Spartan LCF which is just an awesome mean looking hauler here. And included in it is the 69 Pontiac GTO Judge. All rise for the Judge. So I thought I'd just give you a little close up here. So you could check it out. I think that these are my favorite auto haulers, the ones that have the special show cars or race cars inside. Justice man, justice. So, um, there you go close up there. Now I'm going to unscrew this from the base and then you also have to unscrew the car from the base of the trailer to get it out. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll kind of just show you all the different parts to this little piece here. Okay well it was kind of difficult to get this piece unscrewed from its base. It has four um, slots here so if I can show you the back two and the front two. And you have to unscrew each of the screws and while you're doing that you have to hold on to the piece. I recommend a small screwdriver and don't try to use a big ratchet screwdriver or a big drill or anything. Just use a real delicate small piece or a uh, battery powered dr uh, you know, screwdriver with a really small end um, because the screws can damage easily and you don't want to damage them too much especially if um, you're gonna you know, uh, keep this thing in somewhat mint condition. Obviously, if you unbox the whole thing, it's not mint in package anymore, but um, this one was worth unscrewing and checking out because this thing is awesome. When you get it out and actually roll it, it is incredible. I mean, this thing is just crazy. I mean, look at those back wheels on the trailer there. So, I'm, I'm just really impressed with um, how this thing looks. Now, the, most of the trailer, the box is plastic, but the um, the base of it is metal. It's a metal base, so it's very heavy. It's got a nice metal base to it, even though the box is plastic. And you can easily remove the trailer and set it aside here, and just look right here at your LCF truck. So I'm going to give you a close up of this, just so you can see some of the details of this. So here you go, all rise for the judge. I love these blacked out wheels and tires. GM Pontiac logo there. You can sort of see the steering wheel inside there, but you've got door handles, the door, um, the grabber there to hold on to, the gas tank. Here's the actual gas tanks here on the side with a little chrome detailing there. And there's your hitch. Nice dually wheels. We call them duallys down here in the south. I don't know you guys up north what you call these double wheels in the back, but um, a couple of my friends who are from up north or the Midwest, I say dually and they don't know what I'm talking about. But that's what that is. But um, I just love these M2 trucks. They are really capturing my attention here. So there's your front end of the Chevrolet Apache. Um, Apache. Chevrolet Spartan LCF. It looks like an Apache. It's just a bigger version of it. Beautiful. Side uh, blinkers, the white grill with the Chevrolet logo here. Just beautiful. Double... Um, lensed headlights. Those are plastic lenses. Those are not, you know, uh, tampos or anything. And then you've got your blinker hazard lights up here on the corner too, set apart with chrome backing on them. So just the cab itself is a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I love all the blacked out pieces on the base and everything. Uh, I'll just show you the base real quick while we're looking so you can kind of see all the information here in the wheelbase and everything so that's an awesome little LCF right there I love these trucks and then you have the trailer of course I'm gonna go ahead and hook the trailer back in here so you can see how that works it's nice that the trailer itself has those two um, kickstands or whatever on the bottom I've got a little extra piece of plastic here so that when you do remove the trailer, it's not totally, I mean, it goes down a little bit, but it does have some, some uh, at least a brace there for you to put the, um, the trailer down. All right, so I'm going to hook this back in. 
and then you can see it lifts off the ground so it rolls really nicely and then let me show you the back of the trailer here if I can turn this up this way so what happens here is now the trailer is awesome I showed you this before but on the top you have a sunroof so you can look down and see the car but you also have to unscrew the car from the trailer but what's cool is once you do that and um, by the way the the rear part of the trailer here came with a piece of tape on it which I don't think is a good idea into because tape is bad now um, you can probably clean it up pretty easily with a little bit of water or something but don't recommend tape um, so I'm going to show you more of the trailer but I want to get the car out first so here you go so this comes out so you have a little platform here that comes all the way out and comes down which is awesome and then you can pull the car out once you've unscrewed it remember you gotta unscrew the thing and M2 has those those pegs that are up into the car so it's hard to roll it out first but there you go boom and so there's your um, awesome judge now before I get to the judge I'll just show you a little bit more of the trailer real quick here is the uh, rear end of the trailer so you can see in there how that works and this goes right back up in there and then ch check out the tail lights here with the judge tampo on it this closes up real nice and then uh, there's the sunroof I was telling you about and then the base here where you unscrew the car from but otherwise it's a pretty straightforward metal base the um, the ramp is plastic and everything else is plastic but the base here is all metal so no complaints from me there so I'm going to put the truck back here and then we'll take a look at the car that comes with it which is this awesome Ram Air GTO Judge and uh, M2 cars um, you know they're a little different they seem a little bigger than 164 scale um, but this one is remarkable just beautiful Goodyear tires here I'm going to give you a good close up here beautiful Goodyear tires even got the um, what does that say polyclass I can't I can't read that it does say the judge here on the front GTO Ram Air by Pontiac Motor Division got the door handle beautiful pinstripe detail trim around the windows black interior and then you got your spoiler here in the back with uh, painted tail lights no license plate but you do have rear exhausts Got the Judge Tampo again on the spoiler. I do have a little smudge here. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, that comes right off. So a little smudge there, but it will come off. Have to get that off in a minute. And then on the back here we have. What do we have here on the back? Oh gosh, what does that say? I can't even read that. Might be the. Oh, it says GTO, I think. And then here you have the same on the other side. So pretty awesome car now take a look at the headlights those are some of the best I've seen from M2 as far as a, as a muscle car goes nice painted uh, headlights with a blacked out grill and the GTO logo right there beautiful very nice I also think the hood may open let me just check on that real quick um, let me see if I can get this open without breaking it I'll be right back all right so the hood doesn't open as far as I can tell but I did manage to scratch it a little bit where I tried to get it open but uh, you know that's okay I'm gonna keep this one forever I think but um, beautiful beautiful front end here on the GTO it's even got those under the under the scoop here I guess those are supposed to be lights or vents or something under there I'm not sure just wonderful detail there you also have this totally unreadable tampo here on the hood I don't think I can get any closer than this but it just takes total dedication to put a tampo on that nobody can read look at that can you read that I don't even know what that says and then uh, the interior is pretty nice look at the detail on the seats nice texture on the seats here Let's see if I can get it to keep from uh, focusing on the outside and focus on the inside you can see the steering wheel in there there's the stick down there beautiful just gorgeous stuff in there so um, definitely 
a positive review uh, overall for the uh, M2 auto haulers, especially this one with the GTO judge in it. I'm going to do another uh, little drive-by of the other one that I got, but I'm not going to take it all apart just yet. I'll try to do another review on that one later. Um, but uh, these are kind of expensive and you need some room to display them if you really want to. They can run you from 15 to 20 bucks depending on where you find them. But um, they're fantastic pieces. They, they're just perfect, like nostalgia uh, toy truck pieces. And with these awesome muscle cars inside, that's hard to beat. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, leave your comments and questions below. I'll try to do another auto hauler review soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.